Joel, this is just terrifying. Joel and Lauren, look, we know the real effects, the real dangers, the risks that snakes pose to all of us here in the summer in North Carolina. The family came here to the medical center after going to urgent care, getting nowhere there, and they were sort of surprised what happened when they came here to UNC. Let's take a look at some of the pictures that the family showed us. The swollen arm, you can kind of see this woman's uh, hand turn purple. We met with this woman's niece this afternoon. She showed us around their home in Chapel Hill. She said her aunt was in their backyard Monday morning cleaning up when a snake appeared and the ant got bit. They tried urgent care, but they didn't have anti-venom. Then they came here to the medical center. They were told they didn't have it right away. They need to call the hospital, would need to call poison control to get the right mixture. Their advanced, the uh, ant eventually did get the treatment. She's feeling better, but this woman wants us to all be aware of this. If you live on a property like this, people often think that their homes are safe, right? But if you live on a property like mine, you live with a bunch of wild animals and they can badly hurt you. You know, I see snakes in my garden, uh, in my yard, I see raccoons and rats and, you know, hawks uh, hanging around. In just the past 10 minutes, UNC just got back to me. They said they have this anti-venom on hand, but not every bite requires it. Quote, our providers will consider multiple factors before administering anti-venom, including whether the patient is a good candidate for anti-venom, the severity of the bite risk factors, and more. Most insurances do cover, we looked this up, a good portion of the anti venom treatment. The costs are astronomical in the area of $75,000, but this woman is visiting from overseas, so she's likely not covered. Joel Lauren, back to you.